Curious George Learns the Alphabet. Please like and subscribe. This is George. He lived with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. He was a good little monkey, but he was always curious. This morning, George was looking at some of his friend's books. They were full of little black marks and dots and lines, and George was curious. What could one do with them? The man with the yellow hat came just in time. You don't tear a book apart to find out what's in it, he said. You read it. Books are full of stories. Stories are made of words, and words are made of letters. If you want to read a story, first you have to know the letters of the alphabet. Let me show you. The man took a big pad and began to draw. George was curious. This is an A, the man said. The A is the first letter of the alphabet. Now we add four feet and a long tail and the A becomes an alligator with his mouth wide open. The word alligator starts with an A. This is a big A. There is also a small A. All letters come in big and in small. This is a small a. It looks like a piece of an apple. George knew alligators and apples. You could eat apples. Alligators could eat you if you didn't watch out. This is a big B. A big B looks like a bird if you put feet on it and a tail and a bill. The word bird begins with a B. Birds come in all colors. This bird is blue. George loved to watch birds. This is a small B. It could be a B. This B is busy buzzing around a blossom. The B's body has black and yellow stripes. George kept away from bees. They might sting, and that would be bad. This is a big C. We will make it into a crab, a big crab, with a shell and feet and two claws. This is a small C. The small C is like the big C, only smaller. So it becomes a small crab. It's cute. Crabs live in the ocean. They can swim or run sideways and backwards. Crabs can be funny, but they can also pinch you. Ow! You now have three letters, George, the man said, A, B, and C. With these three letters, you can make a word. The first word you can read yourself. The word is cab, C-A-B. You know what a cab is. I once took you for a ride in a cab, remember? And now let's draw the next letter. The big D could be a dinosaur. There are no live dinosaurs today. They've all died out. Those you see in museums are dummies. George had seen dinosaurs in a museum once. The small d looks like a dromedary. A dromedary is a camel with one hump. Riding on a dromedary can make you dizzy because it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. The big E is an elephant. He is eating his evening meal. Eggplants. George loved eggplants. The small E could be the ear of a man or the ear of a monkey. People's ears and monkey's ears look very much alike. The big F is a fireman fighting a fire. Never fool the fire department or you go to jail, and that's no fun. The small f is a flower. George's friend was fond of flowers. George preferred food. Yum, yum. The big G is a goose. Goose starts with a G like George. The small g is a goldfish. He is in a glass bowl and looks gay. 
Now you know seven letters, George, said the man. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. With these letters, we can already make quite a few words. I have written some of them down. You read them while I get your lunch. So we have a bag, a cage, a bed, and feed. Hmm. Oh, dad, ed, and bad at the top also. It seems the only word you can read is bad, said the man when he came back. I think we had enough for one morning. I'll feed you now, and then you take your nap. After your nap, we'll go on with your letters. What do you think, kids? Do you need to take a nap now, and we'll go on with this story later? <laughs> ah, the big H is a house. It stands on a hill behind a hedge. George's home used to be the jungle. Now he lives in a house. The small H is a horse. He's happy because he has heaps of hay. George has his own horse, a hobby horse. The big I is just a long line going straight down. It does not look like much. It could be an icicle. The small I is a line with a dot on top. It could be an iguana. An iguana is a sort of lizard. Iguanas don't like ice. They like the warm sunshine. So does George. The big J is a jaguar. Jaguars live in the jungle. George knew jaguars. He had lived in the jungle once. The small J is a jack-in-the-box. George had a jack-in-the-box as a toy. He just loved to make it jump. The big K is a big kangaroo called Katie. The small K is a small kangaroo. He is Katie's kid. The big L is a lion. He is lucky. He is going to have a leg of lamb for lunch and he loves it. The small I is a lean lady. She is strolling along a lake, licking a lollipop. George liked lollipops. The Big M is a mailman. His name is Mr. Miller. He brings a letter. Maybe it's for me, thinks George. The small M is a mouse. He is munching mints. And do you know what else it is, said the man to George? M is the 13th letter of the ABCs. The whole alphabet has only 26 letters, so 13 is just half of it. You can make lots of words with these letters. Why don't you try? Here's a pad and pencil. George started to think of words, then he wrote them down. It was fun to make words out of letters. Let's see, said the man. Ball, milk, cake, ham, jam, egg, lime, feed, kid. That's very good. But what on earth is a dog or a jiggle chick or a blim lim lim? There are no such things. Just any letters do not make words, George. Well, let's look at some new letters now. The big N is a napkin standing on a dinner plate. It looks neat. George had seen napkins folded that way in a restaurant when he was a dishwasher. The small N is a nose in the face of a man. He has a new blue necktie and is nibbling noodles. The big O is a big ostrich. The small O is a small ostrich, of course. Ostriches eat odd objects. One ostrich once had tried to eat a bugle that belonged to George. <laughs> I remember that story. Do you? The big P is a big penguin. The small P is a small penguin. These penguins live near the South Pole. They use their flippers as paddles. George knew penguins from the zoo. 
And when they jump in the water, they go plop. The big Q is a quail. Quails have short tails. You must keep quiet if you want to watch quails. They are quite shy. The small Q is a quarterback. A quarterback has to be quick. George was quick. He would qualify for quarterback. And now get your football, George, said the man. It will do you good to play a little before we go on with our letters. So do you guys need to go out and play a little before we go on with our letters? <laughs> George knew how to play the game. He knew how to carry the ball and how to make a three-point stance and how to get ready for the kickoff. He was a fine halfback, too, and he could make a short pass or recover a fumble. Good game, said the man, but time's up now. Back to the alphabet. The big R is a rabbit. Some rabbits are white with red eyes. Rabbits love radishes. George loved rabbits. He had one as a pet. The small r is a rooster. The rooster crows when the sun rises. Two roosters will start a rumpus. They really can get rough. The big s is a big snail. The small s is a small snail. Snails are slow. They sneak into their shells when they are scared of something. George thought snails looked silly. The big T is a table. The table is set for two. It is time for tea. George did not care for tea, but he liked toast. The small T is a tomahawk. George had a toy tomahawk. It was a tiny one. He took it along when he played Indian. He also had a teepee, an Indian tent. Now it's time for a snack, said the man. Run over to the baker, George, and hand him this note. Then come right back with the donuts. One dozen of them, and no tricks, please. George was curious. He looked at the note the man had written. One dozen donuts. Maybe he could write something on it, too. How about writing ten instead of one? He had just learned the T. First a T then an E, then an N. Hmm, said the baker. Ten dozen donuts is quite a lot, but that's what the note says. We need an extra big bag for them. <laughs> oh, hi, George, cried the man. Then he saw the note. Well, that comes from teaching the alphabet to a little monkey. I told you no tricks. You may not eat any donuts now, George. Put them back in the bag, and let's go on with the letters. The big U is a big umbrella standing upright. George knew how to use an umbrella. You turn the U over, huh? <laughs> the small U is a small umbrella. When it is raining, umbrellas are useful, but you must keep under the umbrella unless you want to get wet. George thought rain was a nuisance. The big V is a big valentine. For George, from the man with the yellow hat. The small V is a small valentine. George loved valentines. He got several valentine cards every year. One came from Nevada. To George with love. The big W and the small W are whiskers, big ones and small ones. The walrus has whiskers. Some men have whiskers, and cats have whiskers. George did not have whiskers, but he was curious how he would look if he did. <laughs> the next letter of the alphabet is X. The big X and small X look alike. Only one is big and one is small, just like the big W and small W. 
or the V, or the U, or the S, and some of the other letters. But, said the man, there are few words that start with an X, and they don't look like an X, except one, that is Xmas. Santa stands for Xmas. That's not the right way to spell Christmas, by the way. <laughs> there is only one Santa, so we need only one picture. George thought Christmas was exciting. The big Y is a big yak. The small Y is a small yak. He is still young. Yaks live in Tibet. If you haven't seen any yaks yet, you may find one at the zoo. The big Z is a big zebra. The small Z is a small zebra. The zebras are zipping along with zest. And do you know what, said the man? The Z is the last letter. Now you know all the 26 letters of the alphabet. And now you may have the donuts. Mmm, donuts, yum, yum. Oh, and George spelled something. Can you read it? T H E E N D. The end. And it is, too. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now.